What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we have got a gameplay with the Amethyst Jamal Crawford card. So this card is, well, he should be really nice because every year I love Jamal Crawford in 2K. In 2K18, I can't even remember if I really used the Jamal Crawford. I only used this Ruby to death in 2K17. That was such a nice card. I'm trying to think of 2K18. I know he had a Ruby card, but that was in like a really early set. I think that was in, it was in whatever set that had Paul Pierce, Vince Carter, and Alan Iverson, Amethyst. I can't even think it off the top of my head. I know that the reward was Penny Hardaway, but I just cannot think of it. Um, was it the high, no, it, was definitely, it wasn't high scores, but it was something along those lines, I think. But um, yeah, so Jamal Crawford really basically took a year off in 2K18. There was no great versions of him. And this year we already got an Amethyst card for him, which is great. So Jamal Crawford, 94 overall, sorry, 94 overall offense, 90, sorry, 84 defense. Comes with 10 gold badges, including Lob City Pass, or difficult shots. He's got some good other good badges. No limitless range, no other shooting badges though. Mid-range deadline, difficult shots, that's it. Not the best. But 94 driving lap is good. Open shot mid 93 is good. Open shot 3 of 89 is good. He's got an okay contest shot 3 of 81. Good off dribble shot 3 as well. Driving at 55 is not the best with a tendency of, Z of 5. So he's only going to dunk when he's wide, wide open. He's at 94 ball control, which is unreal. And some of the best dribble moves in the game. He's got good passing stats as well. Not a great steal rating. He's got great speed, speed, ball, and acceleration. All of 94, which is really good. Really good lateral quickness. Well, sorry. Really good for Jamal Crawford. Normally, he's got terrible lateral quickness. And even though his defensive stats are absolutely terrible, and the lateral quickness means he should be a passable defender. Like, if it wasn't for his defense, you could definitely run him at the point. But because of his defense, I wouldn't run him there. I'd run him at the two. But he should be quite a nice card to use. So the team we're running with is, well, it's basically the team we ran with the last time, uh, except we're replacing Levine with Crawford. We've got Oscar Robertson at the one, Crawford at the two, Granger at the three, Isla at the four, and Blake at the five. The bench, we have got Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Andre Iguodala, Jamal Mashburn, Tonga Gliata, with Kiki Vandewey, Joel Embiid, and Darius Maz rounding out the bench. So anyway, now we're going to go over to Hot Zones for Jamal Crawford. Then we are going to get on to the game. So Jamal Crawford has got hot zones. Why does he have hair on a Knicks card? But his release historically has been unbelievable. And it's still the same release as it's always been. He's got kind of like a really cheesy park release, even though obviously, I'm, as you guys can see, I'm not the best with it. But it's one of those releases, once you can get it down, it's really, really cheesy. But um, yeah, decent fadeaway going that way. Let's see what his fadeaway is like going this way. Okay, so we should have a decent pull up anyway. Okay, off dribble shot three and mid. But um, yeah, so he should be quite a nice card to use. I assume he will be able to dunk when he's wide open. Yeah, but Jamal Crawford's all about them layup, pack layup packages that are really good. But he's really going to be a spot-up shooter, someone that can take some... He's probably going to take some quite difficult shots. I might use him as a primary ball handler a good bit, even though my dribbling is not the best. My momentum crossing is really not great. But I think I might be able to get some good enough shots off with him anyway. So now let's just green 1-3. And now let's get on to the game. All right, so playing against Manu, Oscar Robertson, Danny Granger, Blake, and Moses Malone. So really good team, and he's got Manu, so he's going to be a really good player. Okay, so he's got Clay Thompson now in the game. He's got Curry playing small forward, which is a really weird one. And he's now off-balling on Gugliata. Go right into him. Good shot. Let's go. Hopefully, hopefully we can have a good game with Crawford. But again, most important thing is winning. And I'm going to show this game no matter what, because um, we're playing against a good player who is off-balling, which is what you're going to be playing the majority of times with this guy. So if we can get anything with him, I'm happy. He's going to shoot in place. Get a hand up on that. The defense Granger. Bad, bad shot there. I'm just trying to force it to get a shot off with him, which, because when they're off balling, it's really hard to run through a specific player, as I've said, at least 50 times in gameplays. This year is, like, this year is the hardest year to get gameplays. Not because the hardest year to score is the hardest year to win games. I actually find it one of the easiest years to score, but it's just because how OP off ball is. And if you off ball, um, it is nearly impossible to score with a guard. So I might have to play him at power forward at some stage. Okay, that's an all right shot, I guess. Early, slightly, and out of bounds. Like, I know it's a fadeaway, but he does have difficult shots, so. Like, not the worst shot I can shoot, but he has not started too well. One assist, though, is all right. Good shot by Crawford there. That's a shot that probably should have gone in. I got very long animation. That's not a good shot by Steph, though, is it? Like, what? <laughs> like, it's all good. Like, I know I can win this game, but again, the fact this is meant to be a Crawford gameplay means I should probably try to score with Crawford. It's a pity that I'm going to actually have to score with Griffin an awful lot in this game because that's just the way this guy's playing me. Like, I can beat this guy, but I'm not going to be able to beat him with a guard. 
Good dunk, Oscar Robertson. Let's go. Come on, Crawford. I gotta get him in the game, but I don't know how. I do not know how to get him in the game. Because if I try... This is gonna be a game where I'm gonna have to run through wings. Not a chance. He, this guy can't miss. He can't miss. Like, these are the shots that you guys go mad at me, and you're like, in every gameplay, you're like, oh, they're bad shots. But when everyone else shoots them against me, they hit them all. There we go. Oh, should have been a fade. Great shot by Crawford, though. I'll take it. Try to get Clay out of there. Hit good. Or not good. Be out of it. Issel. Good shot. He's literally not guarding Dan Issel. That's wide open. I used off ball and everything. And, like, again, like, I'm up in this game. And that includes taking a lot of bad shots with Crawford, but it's I can't take a good shot, unfortunately, guys. I just can't in this game. Hopefully, if I can pull away a bit of it, pull out a bit of a lead in this quarter, I can force them to play a different style of defense, which will allow me to score a lot more in the third with Jamal Crawford. Good cut, Igadala. Easy layup. Great pass, but Googly out of there. He's got a three-point lead. Steal, Steph. Full white. Steph knocks it down. He's just taking transition cheese shots. Bad release. But Gugliano knocks it down. Okay, we've now changed it up. We've got Kiki Vandeweghe in a point guard. I don't know why I actually like running him a point guard. Bad shot. Really bad shot there. Good board. Kick to Clay. Wide open for three. Not the best release, but he knocks it down. Iguodala. Get a middle. And Iguodala with the dunk. There we go. We're pulling away now. How did this guy get Manu? Like, winning 12 games in a row is not easy. How did this guy do it? I'm saying that now, but, like, it could be the cur commentator's curse, and he could just start hitting everything. Okay, if he plays this type of defense on Crawford, like, and Crawford's going to hit all those shots, and Clay's just missed that one there, but Crawford is not missing that shot. It's good. Yep. We miss a wide-open shot, and they make it, uh, pull it back to a seven-point game. Not a great shot, though, is it? But I have knocks it down. I'll take it. Back to 10. Stopping the score is what we need here. And not... Stop giving up transition cheese shots. I know he's missing them, but they're not good shots to give up. Okay. Not a great shot for Gugliata. That was meant to be a pass to Clay anyway, but he knocks it down. That's way too deep. That is way too deep. That's like 2K17 deep. Hall of Fame Minimalist is not that OP anymore, as Iguodala with gets to dunk. Green light, Steph Curry. Good pop. Oh, okay, we got really lucky there. That must have been a bad release. Good shot by Crawford. Wow. That's a bad shot by Crawford. This is good and bad shots. That's got to go in. There we go. Third time lucky. Second one was a bad shot. The first one definitely should have went in. Good shot, Crawford. Come on. I know they're lightly contested, but there, you gotta just hit one of them. Okay. Pull up for three. Anything that even says lightly contested, even if it actually isn't lightly contested, does not go in with him. That's a terrible shot by Granger. He's now manning up Crawford. Should be able to get something out of this. But the defense controls everything in this game. So dribble gods are borderline useless in my team. Nice layup. Gotta start attacking the basket more. You might have some quite athletic or, well, crafty athletic layups. To the basket. Crawford. I'm one. Let's go. I need to be attacking the basket more. I think that might be the problem. That I'm settling for too many jump shots. And his release is definitely... When he pulls up, it's slow. Like, when he pulls up, it's a slow release. There's no question about that. So, I think that might be a little bit of the problem. Green light. There we go. A few moments later. It's now a two-point game. Good shot, good shot. There we go, Jamal Crawford. <laughs> Let's go. Got a great look there at Blake. As he knocks it down. Clay's still down. He's still down. Quick one. No, no. Lightning contestant. He knocks it down. Let's go. He's clutch. He is clutch. He may not have been good for three quarters, but he is clutch. Do not let Clay shoot. Just I'm off balling and guarding Clay. As we don't stop the ball. But we put up enough of a contest to make a miss. No. This is how this guy got Manu. He's one of those guys that can force every game to um, end in a no score.
Oh, come on. That is how this guy, who's really bad at the game, got managed Ginobili. But anyway, Crawford, 7 of 18, shot a little bit under 50%. 3 of 8 from 3. Hey, clutch. Clutch. Like, I took a lot of bad shots with him, but he's just... Because of the whole um, fact that off-balling is so prevalent, he's really not effective, like, well, in a game like this. A really good card, but just not effective against an off-baller. But Tom Gugliotta had 11 points, Steph Curry had 10, Blake Griffin had 9, Dan Issel 8 didn't miss, Andre Guadala had 8, Jamal Mashburn had 6, Kiki Vandaway had 3, um, Clay Thompson had 3, Big O had 2, Danny Granger didn't score, and Embiid and Miles didn't play. So anyway, that's the video. As I said again, Jamal Crawford, I'm not going to say is a bad card. Like, he's an amethyst, so he's probably not gonna be too expensive. And I compare him to Brandon Roy without the defense and the dunking. That's basically it. Without Brandon Roy's defense and dunking, that's what he's similar to. But like, if you're looking at the elite two guards in the game, you're looking at Clay Iguodala. There's also Brandon Roy. And Houston to an extent, Carter to an extent, obviously J.R. Smith. And then if you're looking even in Rubies, Mo Peterson's elite, Eddie Jones elite, and um, Jamal Crawford is just a little bit below that elite class. And to be honest, like it's probably not going to be a great player to pick up. If you're playing against, if you're playing as the guy who is going to on-ball you, Jamal Crawford's dribble moves, his fadeaway shots, everything is going to be really effective. But if you're playing an off-baller, none of that's going to phase it, and he doesn't play good enough defense to really. And his release is a little bit slow um, on any time he is fading away, especially to his left. That he's just he's just not at that elite tier. Like he wouldn't be close to my team, but again, like I took a lot of bad shots with him. He could quite easily, as I showed in the end, hit some shots. But um it's just that little bit off where I expect him to be. A good card, but just not as good as I thought he was gonna be. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.